There are good bugs and there are bad bugs. In my zucchini plant here, there are two types of ladybirds that are invading this plant. One of them is a good bug and the other one is a bad bug. <laughs> Can you hear the bird? Anyway, in this video I'm going to show you what the other one does, which is really good. It eats the fungus on the leaves and the other one is a leaf eating bug. So it is decimating the leaves of my zucchini plant. Come on and I'll show you. Let's start with the good guy. This little beauty is the fungus eating ladybird, Elaeus galbula. I know she looks like a pest with that bright yellow body and black markings, but she's actually here to help. These ones feed on powdery mildew, which is a fungal disease that often shows up on zucchinis and other cucurbits. That dusty white stuff you sometimes see on the leaves, that's mildew. And this ladybird munches on it like it's a buffet. Her larvae, those little black ones with tufts, also feed on the mildew. So when you see this bug around, it's actually a good sign. She's part of your cleanup crew, not the wrecking crew. Now this one is a different story. This is the 28 spotted ladybird. The scientific name is, get this, Henocepilacna vigintioctopunctata. <laughs> Quite a name for a, such a small bug, but don't let her size fool you. Unlike the fungus eating ladybird, this one does eat plant material. Her favorite, zucchini leaves. She starts by scraping the surface layer, turning your leaves into pale, skeletonized messes. You'll often spot the damage first, clusters of holes, browning edges, and sometimes eggs laid in a neat little group on the underside of the leaves. I couldn't find many adults today, just one earlier, but look at all these larvae. These little ones are just as destructive as the grown-ups, if not more. They quietly chew through the soft tissue, leaving that familiar lace-like damage behind. And because they're so small, it's easy to miss them until the damage is already done. So I've been going through each plant and just carefully flicking the larvae into a cup of soapy water. It's a simple method, but it works. I'm doing this by hand because I don't want to use my usual pyrethrum spray, not while the fungus-eating ladybirds are still here. They're doing such a great job clearing out the powdery mildew, and I'd hate to harm them by accident. It's a bit fiddly, sure, but it lets me target the problem without affecting the helpers. The earlier you catch them, the better your zucchinis will bounce back. I'll be checking daily now, especially under those big shady leaves where the larvae like to hide, knowing the difference between pests and beneficial insects really makes all the difference when you're gardening the gentle way. So if you spot one of these on your zucchinis, you will know exactly which is the good one or the bad bug. If it's the fungus-eating ladybird, leave her to do her work, of course. She's helping keep mildew at bay. But if it's Henocepilacna vigintioctopunctata, <laughs> the 28 spotted ladybird, you'll want to remove her before she and her larvae do serious damage. Because I have two kinds of bugs on my zucchini plant, the 28 spotted ladybird and the fungus eating ladybird, I cannot do anything but remove by hand the larvae of the 28 spotted ladybird. That's what I've shown you a little earlier. It'll be a daily task at least until I get good control of the numbers and keep constant watch on the leaves. And hopefully we'll have a lot of zucchini come a couple of weeks from now. More videos to come. Thanks for watching.